We Quote is a web-based quoting tool that makes life easy for home automation dealers like myself. It is easy to use while remaining very accurate with payment tracking and generate very professional looking quotes which are fully customizable. From now on, I can send this type of quote for Lutron system to my client as a web link or PDF. Look, it's beautiful. I can add a bit here about my company with logo, text and pictures. A quick brief about the system I'm quoting. Here, it's a Lutron homework system, but you can quote any other type of system, such as audio, video, network, CCTV systems from all your favorite brands. Then I have the details of my quote. First, with the component of my Lutron panels and the total amount for this group. Next, I have my Lutron keypad type section with all sorts of media to showcase my products. And an option feature here that allow clients to update prices directly from the quote based on their preferred Lutron keypads, as you can see here. I can also add all the related services for this project, like system design, panel build, commissioning, and programming. And finally, the total breakdown with my materials and labor, VAT, and total cost. Follow with terms and conditions. Fantastic. We will even see later how the client can approve the quote directly from their mobile phone. In this video, let's see one of the many ways to build a quick quote for a Lutron homework system. So, without any further ado, <laughs> let's do it. So here is the situation. A new client got in touch to see if I could quickly provide a quote for a Lutron homework system for the new house they're building. And you know how we sometimes feel after a long day at work, but we still have to send a quote to a new client. Well, this is where we quote come to save the day. <laughs> in this tutorial, we're going to talk about price, cost, margins, etc. But here, we're going to use a WeQuote test account for demonstration, where clients, quotes, and projects are for show only. Also, margins and prices of equipment have been modified to keep everyone happy. All right? Once I log to my WeQuote account from any web browser, I land on my dashboard, where I can have a quick overview of my business. And this is the first advantage of using WeQuote. As a home automation professional, I can see my quote in progress, the accepted ones, as well as the value in the pipeline at a glance. Great. We will do a breakdown of this page another time, as I'm in a hurry of sending this budget quote to my client. <laughs> However, for the rest of the video to make sense, let's just see those items here on the left hand side under overview. To me, this is the spine of we quote. First, in sales, we've got quotes, obviously, that can be assigned or not to a project here. Each project can contain multiple quotes, so it is easier for us to manage our activity and the profitability on each of them. And finally, those projects and quotes can be assigned to a customer. As those items here are linked to one another, it doesn't really matter where you start. Quotes, projects, or customers. Good. And you have inventory, your we quote back office if you wish. Products is where you can create your own products. Myself, I use products a lot to build my service package components. Then we have catalogs, and this is the second advantage of using we quote is that it links directly with heavy manufacturers and distributors catalogs. A request needs to be made for the brand's catalog we have an account with, and this will give us direct access to their products and prices. In my case, if I go to link catalogs here, I'll find the catalogs I have access to. 
which are updated twice a day for those with a live link or imported within a couple of days. Therefore, as professionals, we are always up to date with costs, which is fantastic. Then we have systems that allow us to build bundles of recurring products and services from both our products and catalogs to optimize our own quoting process. Under configure here, we found labor, which will allow us to build all type of labor cost, which is very important for us AV professionals as they will keep us on top of our profit margin for everything outside products. As you know, if I provide a design service, for example, the total amount is not pure profit. It will still cost me money to produce this design, which is the cost of running my business. So, for each type of labor activity, such as lighting design, Lutron system design, project management, panel building, commissioning and programming, I can set labor costs, margin and profit, which is very helpful. Finally, we have a powerful template editor, which is another key feature of WeQuote. This editor allows us to provide very professional quotation to clients that we can customize to display and break down price information in virtually any way we need to. We can use default templates, but also create our own, which is very cool. Okay, now that we have a good understanding of the WeQuote components, Let's quickly do this quote. Okay, so I go to quotes here and click here to add a new quote. I give it a description like Lutron Homeworks quote one, for example. Next, I need to assign it to a customer. I could look for an existing one, but as this is a new client, I'll add it to my customer list by clicking on the plus button here and then add customer. I'll fill as much detail as I have at this point about my client. I can also come back later to fill any additional information. And when I'm done, I click save. Once I have assigned the clients to the quote, a new box appears here. Project. I could leave this blank if I wanted to, but I prefer to assign it to a project so I can keep everything tidy in one place and also get an active overview of my costs and margins for this particular project. Very good. I'll use the address of this new house as the name of that project. There we go. And I will fill the rest of the information if I have them at that point or do it later. In our example today, I just click on create quote here. <laughs> and I automatically move to the WeQuote powerful quoting tool. I land on the quote summary page, which is obviously empty for the moment. As you use WeQuote, you will see of different ways you can build the quote. WeQuote allow me to build quotes that matches the way I currently run my business and then improve from that. We will review of different ways to create quotes in future videos. So if you're interested in this, make sure to subscribe. But again, in this tutorial, we're mainly looking at a way to quickly send the quote late at night, after work, while remaining accurate and very professional. First, from the project's lighting floor plan the client just emailed me, I'm going to count the total number of lighting circuits. And here we have 42 lighting circuits. Then I'll count the number of traditional lighting switch locations on the plan and I can estimate 26 Lutron keypads. Great, I've got all I need. Back on our quoting tool, let's start with adding my Lutron hardware. I click on the product button here and first I land on my products, which we talked about earlier as a collection of products and services we can customize in various ways. But for this quote, I'm going to select linked catalog here. And then search using the box here, the Lutron parts I need for this project. So first, I'm going to need a Homeworks QSX and I'm going to type processor. Voila. And I choose the tooling version. And as I select it, the window closes automatically. My Lutron processor is added to my quote. And here, I can see it's sell price to customer, my cost price, and also any labor I could associate directly to the unit, 
like an installation cost just for that processor or something like that. I click again on product to add my processor power supply. And it is true that using this method, you sometimes need to use the reference of the product as opposed to its description to find it quick. I'm going to use this one here and it goes automatically to my quote. <laughs> Great. With regards of lighting circuits, let's just say for the purpose of this tutorial that they are all mains dimmable. So click on product, look for the LQSE-485. There we go and click on it. And one module is added to my quote. Now, if you remember in this project, we have 42 circuits. And as we can have four circuits per mains dimmable module, 42 divided by four, well, I need 11 of those modules as I can cut a module in half. But why would you cut a module in half? Anyway, I can simply change quantities using the up and down arrows here or click on the pane icon here to edit the line. Add the quantity needed here and click save. Voila. Now, all this equipment has to go into a panel. So I select the catalog from Future Automation and look for a LCP7 with RCBO single phase here. <laughs> this is an illusion part, but they're my favorite panels to use. And that's it for what I like to call the backroom equipment. All the equipment in a technical room that makes the system works. Next, I'll add my keypads. <laughs> If you like what you see so far and you would like to start using WeQuote like myself, please sign up to WeQuote for a 21 day free trial and get a 10% discount when you enter the word Adelux in the discount section here. Link in the comment section below. So add product, Lutron catalog, and here I'm going to search for a two column palladium with satin nickel faceplate which I know the reference of. Select it and add it to my quote. It has no picture. The description is okay for me, but could be better for my client. So I click on the pen icon here. This time I click on the edit master product here. So I can make some change to this product. Here I click on select image. And from this window, I can upload a picture for my computer as I'm doing here. Great and update the description to Lutron Palladium keypad, two columns, satin nickel faceplate with engraving credit, for example. Click save. And if you remember, I've estimated 26 keypads. So I update quantities here and save again. And I have now all my Lutron equipment quoted. Great. Now let's add all the services required to complete this project successfully. So to add services, same thing. I go to add product again, but this time in my product section here, I'm going to search for the Adelux Lutron system design package here. This is a service I've created myself in a product session here we talked about earlier. Just to give you a quick overview, when I click on it, it's a product with no cost. However, here we can see that it has a labor cost assigned to it than I've also configured previously. On the additional option tab, I've added a long description to this service for my client, and this will be shown on the quote. And if you want to know what is included in my Lutron design package, you can check out the details in one of my previous tutorial, link in the comment section below. <laughs> I close this window and go back to my quote edit the design package item. And because I want that package to be shown as a single cost, I'll keep the quantity at one here. However, in the labor section here, I'm going to set the numbers of days needed for me to complete and deliver the package to my client. In this example, I'm going to allow for six days of work. In my case, this calculation is mainly for internal use as it helps me to track and stay on top of my cost of building the design package and therefore how much I need to charge my client. And I click save. 
And as we can see, I have my labor cost here, no hardware cost, and quantity is one. Exactly what I wanted. Great. Go back to add product. This time, add Adelux Switch on Panel Build Services, which has also been built exactly like the design package service using essentially labor cost per day. I'm going to estimate for two days here. And finally, I'm going to add Lutron Commissioning Services, which is also a service I've customized myself for my product section. Here, I'm going to add phase one of commissioning, which is also made of labor day rate, as you can see here. However, this time I'm going to use quantity to inform the client of the number of days this phase one might take. And here, I'm going to select two. Same thing for phase two which is more for programming adjustments, scene settings, integration with other systems after the client has been using Lutron for a while. Let's just say one day might be enough here. And then phase three, after a few months for fine tuning, one day also here. Once I have all the elements in my quote, I can click on this icon here to reorder my products the way I want them to show my quote that will be sent to my client. Cool. Now, if I look at the summary section here at the top, we quote give me a real-time view of my product margin, the money I will make on the sale of the hardware, how much it will cost me to buy the hardware, and how much it will sell to my client. Then I'll see the labor margin for all the services required on this project with cost and sale price, as well as the total hours of work this represents. And the total margin, the money I will make as a whole on that project, product plus labor margins. And to finish the grand total that will be shown on the quote to client with and without VAT. That is super useful. Et voilà, I finished my quote. Now, let's see how the quote looks like. Once I've added all the items in my quote, I go to view proposal here. And look at my proposal. It's beautiful. <laughs> With logos and pictures, a quick description of my company Adelux at the top, a few words and key features of Lutron Homeworks here, followed by the details of my quote, with the Lutron hardware first, and then the associated services. And at the end, our terms and conditions. For this tutorial here, I'm using a template called Adelux Lutron Quick Quote that I customize myself, as you can see, when I click on the edit button here. As this is a very powerful tool, we will review the template editor in a future video fully dedicated to it. If I click on Create Proposal here, I can select different default templates provided by WeQuote, but we can also build our own, which is great. In this particular template, I've chosen to only display the quantities for the materials and the services. However, at the bottom of it, for my client convenience, we can find the breakdown for the total of the Lutron equipment here and the total for the labor with the details of each service here. Now that it's finished, I can then send this quote as a link to the client or as a PDF that will contain an acceptance form for approval that he or she can sign directly from the app. Fantastic. <laughs> voilà, there you have it. How to quickly send a Lutron quote using WeQuote. I hope you find this video useful. And if there is any WeQuote feature you would like me to review in the next video, please let me know in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to the Adelux YouTube channel so you can be updated when the next video is released. Thank you very much. 
good luck and talk to you again on the next tutorial.